Hey everybody, it's Carolyn and it is September 10th. I am checking in with you possibly from the future going to the past to this particular date to tell you about the origins of my sweater project, embroidering on a sweater that I bought off the rack. Yes, I did indeed purchase this sweater today, September 10th from the Eileen Fisher store in Irvington, New York, which is just one town south of where I live currently. Um, I love this particular store because they have all kinds of interesting things going on from their Renew section to their Lab section, which is beyond the Eileen Fisher products that you might see on Garnet Hills website or catalog or on their own website or catalog. These are one-off pieces that are recycled. Eileen Fisher has a fantastic recycle program where if you've decided that you don't you don't want your piece anymore, they will buy it back from you. I don't know exactly what their exchange rate is um, for pieces that you want to pass back in, but they will take them back and either get them into the hands of someone who needs them or they might resell them in their shop or they have a section where people have taken those used pieces and cut them up and made them into something different. So one of the times that I was in there, some clever designer had taken several different coats, cut them all up and turned them into this incredibly hip and modern piece that I pondered over for a long time, but it was a, a tad too small for me. So it stayed on the shelf, but boy, I think about that coat all the time. I'm digressing. Let me let me get back into what I wanted to do today was I went down to that shop with the hopes of finding something that I could explore my embroidery on stockinette techniques with without having to actually knit the sweater myself. Dirty little secret about Bloom Handmade Studio. This cook and chef and bottle washer is a very slow knitter. I would probably need about two and a half to three months to make myself a plain Jane stockinette sweater. And I can say that pretty confidently because the embroidery on stockinette sweater that you'll find in my feed um, actually did take me about two and a half months to make. And I'm looking for a faster way to explore some of these techniques. And I thought, why not head down to Eileen Fisher and see if they have something that might fit the bill. I'm so happy to report that they did. This particular sweater is from their Renew section. So this is one of the ones that has been passed back in to, um, to the store and they put it out on their shelves for a fantastic reduced price. I don't know what this was originally, but it was priced on the rack at $55 and I got it for an additional 30% off. So for about 40 bucks, 30, 38 to 40 bucks, I walked out with this fairly sheer, let me see if I can get in there so you guys can see, it's a fairly sheer stockinette sweater knit in the round with a pretty basic raglan sleeve. And this is a size extra small, which if you've spent any time around me, I'm not an extra small kind of gal. I'm six feet tall and I've got the wingspan of an albatross, so this isn't gonna fit me, but I don't care. Um, I, don't, I don't care for two reasons. Um, the first being I have a daughter who is extra small. So an Eileen Fisher extra small is fairly roomy still. That's kind of how she cuts her clothes. Bless Eileen, I really appreciate you doing that. that um, I like your cool and comfortable aesthetic very much. Um, and so her extra small will be just fine for my daughter. And so that's fantastic news. I don't have to worry about having purchased something too small for me. I'm going to be able to bequeath, bequeath this right over to her. The other reason why I don't care about the sizing is that this is really a project to just explore possibilities. And I'm curious to see how I can take some of the um, techniques that I've been looking into for applying sashiko and other embroidery techniques to straight stockinette. And this sweater I think will be a really nice choice. 
I'm gonna zoom in here so you can kind of see the stitches are little, but because of the mesh-like qualities to this fabric, they're actually really easy to read. Another thing that drew my eye to this sweater is that the sleeve stitches go all the way from the actual sleeve itself across the broad shoulders of the back. So this is the back of the sweater here, and you can see that those stitches kind of connect there at the nape of the neck and then just carry right along down the other side of the sweater. And I think that's gonna make for a pretty cool design. Pretend this is on my back here. I'm gonna run some stitching. I don't know what kind of stitching yet. I'm gonna run some stitching up from the sleeve all the way across the, the shoulder and across the nape of the neck and back down. And I just thought that's pretty great construction for the sleeve. And then there was also this cool feature here on the side by the hip, which is kind of a, a paneled insert. I thought there could be potential to do something kind of cool in here. So I'm not sure where I'm headed with this. I always have these grand plans of stitching up the whole thing soup to nuts from one sleeve to the other the shoulder to the hip I want to do the whole thing I've done this before and been um, pretty turned off when I looked in the mirror and saw how much was going on I think the eye needs to rest with this sort of thing so I don't know if I'm going to give this a a, a full-on woolly tattoo or try and have a lighter hand I think I'm going to allow my daughter to have some input on what she might like to have so that when she gets this from me she'll actually wear it um, and I also don't know what kind of yarn I'm going to use yet so this is just the welcome to the project video I'm going to record a few of these as I go along and let you know how the project is unfolding but for today I just thought I would show you the canvas in its uh, virginal self way okay so here we are Eileen Fisher thank you so much I really love this piece and I can't wait to give it a go stay tuned for more